Illinois and Champaign, Illinois. You're tuned in to the two-way championship matches. I am Mike Vest, I will be on your call tonight, and joining me for the first time ever is my son, Caden Vest. Caden, 14 championship matches gonna be taking place tonight right here. Kids have been working all season long for this. This is the moment they've been waiting for. Yeah, I, I believe it's gonna be a real fun night. Everyone looks forward to this at the beginning of the season, and we're gonna see how it all ends tonight. We're starting off at 182 pounds. We're gonna see a junior from Grays Lake Central, Maddie Jens. Maddie wearing the camouflage green and gray singlet. He'll be green on your scoreboard at home. And we're gonna see some quick action right off the bat. They go out of bounds. He is going up against Nico Ronchetti from Joliet Catholic. Ronchetti is a sophomore coming into the tournament with a 32 and 16 record. Maddie is the state runner up last year at this weight class. Maddie, a junior with an undefeated record so far to this point. We are just 30, well, 40 seconds into this first period of this first match of the evening. No score as I say that. Maddie Jens comes up with a double and gets the takedown on the far side of the mat. He leads 2-0 with a minute left to go. Wrestling on mat one, Griffin Luke. Alina Winslow Stockton was a state runner-up last year. Franchetti comes up to his feet and Maddie just decides to let him go. So two to one here. Franchetti tries a throw by. Maddie throws him down to the mat and gets another two takedown. He leads four to one with 46 seconds left to go in the first period. Jen's riding tough here. Final 20 seconds of the first period. They step out of bounds. On the whistle for this 182 pound championship match is Ron Coit from Farmer City. Now I gotta say, this was not the predicted matchup for the state finals here. Obviously, most people predicted Jen's to be in this final, but I don't think many people saw Ron Chetty being in this finals. Coming in this, in this tournament ranked ninth in the state, beating off a couple big names coming into the state finals match. Had a big win last night in the semifinals against the favorite Brendan Hauser of Muhammad Senior, uh, Seymour, excuse me. Flip of the disc is gonna go to Ron Chetty. He's gonna defer to Jens who chooses down for the second period. He is up four to one here in this championship match at 182 pounds. Jens quickly up to his feet. Ronchetti stays with him. Now back down to the mat. Jens comes up and gets the escape. So he goes up five to one now. They go out of bounds. Had a chance to speak to Maddie Jens last night after the semifinal round. Asked him how he was feeling, and he just shook his head. He's ready to go. He's ready for this moment. Said state runner-up from last year. Going to get warning stalling on Ronchetti. As they go out of bounds, Ronchetti looks over to his coach, Ryan Cumbie. Of course, Ryan wrestled for Northwestern, Big Ten wrestler. Now in the helm at Joliet Catholic. out of bounds as Jens try to double. I gotta say, Maddie's really controlling this match right now. He, he's really trying to take any shot he can, and where Ranchetti's just trying to stay out of everything, trying to work his own stuff. It doesn't seem to be working against Jens. There's another stalling on Ranchetti. He's gonna give a point to Maddie. He goes up 
six to one now. Maddie has clearly been in control of this match from the first whistle. Ranchetti is holding his own though. He's, he's tried a couple of moves, but Maddie has answered well. Tries, single leg, drops down and grabs it, reaches out and grabs the other leg, looking for a takedown. Not gonna get it from Ron Coit yet. Maddie stands up to his feet and pulls Ronchetti in, and now nothing yet. Yet, there's the two. So he goes up eight to one, and now on his back. But did we stop, or what's going on? I think we got a whistle. They did go out of bounds. A real awkward position to be right there and nearly out of bounds right on your back. Don't know what you're going to try and do in that situation. So we'll bring it back to the middle of the restart with 19 ticks left in the second period. 8-1 to one is your score in favor of Maddie Jens, the junior from Grays Lake Central. Ronchetti up to his feet and Jens lifts him up in the air and brings him back down to the mat. And that is how this second period will end. And it will be Ron Chetty's choice for the third. Coach Cumby wants him to go neutral. That's what they'll start for the third. I gotta say, Ron Chetty's gonna have to pull something out of his bag here in this third period if he wants to walk away as a state champion tonight. Because it looks like Matty's been controlling this whole match. Ronchetti looks like he might want to throw. He's, he's going into those upper overhooks a few times in this match. He has actually thrown Maddie. Maddie does a great job with his balance to stay in control of it. Now they go straight back to the line. Maddie tries a shot on the outside and they go out of bounds. Grays Lake coach Matt Joseph seems to want another stall calls. Matty just keeps attacking, and you gotta think he knows the throw is coming. He just he just don't mind it. He's gonna keep attacking. Stalemate positions. See if they up yep, there it is. Had a chance to get to know Maddie over the off season. Going to go out of bounds again. There's another stalling on Ronchetti, so that brings the score nine to one. In your class one A state champ, stalemate situation. From Lee Winslow Stockton, Griffin Luke. You have to look for some sort of desperation move here from Ronchetti if he's want to walk him away here with a win. Now we're going to start seeing Ronchetti, I think, pick it up here. And final seconds, your 182-pound two-way state champion, the junior from Grays Lake Central. Matty Jens. From Marmion Academy, Jack Lesher. And not too surprised with that outcome From there. Matty seemed like he was control that entire match and he was eager to walk away with the state championship tonight. Two-way, Matty Jens. 
Ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be another brief delay while we try to fix what's going on on Matt 3. So, coaches, wrestlers, be a little patient with us. This should not take much time, but we do make, need to make an adjustment to the technology at Matt 